us here. As soon as this is done, we're going to start on the chamfer, on the uh, radius rather. this out and uh, and we'll drill and tap the end and aside from some polishing and some holes in this circumference here to hold the dies in we're done with this piece so let's get that going It's pretty close. We'll tune it up a little bit and uh, hit it with a file and stuff, and, and we'll be uh, rocking and rolling here. We'll be well on our way to being done. Okay, take this over to the vise and run this tap all the way to the bottom.
Yep. I think I'm going to counterbore the ends uh, just a little bit for aesthetic purposes. And then uh, we'll make the rods that go in the end, the handles. Okay, here we are again. Back for the final round. Um, I got this set up on the rotary table and I'm going to drill the holes for the dies. My dies are 45 degrees on each side of the center of the little tightening holes. So I got it on the rotary table. I got it centered up. The way I got it centered on the rotary table is I machined a little button to go in the bottom of my rotary table that was the same size as this uh, hole in the center of this. So this is lined up and then uh, I ran a dial indicator across to get it level rotationally wise and then I edge found it to the edge here and uh, now I'm going to center drill it and then uh, I'm going to tap it for a quarter twenty tap. So, first thing we're going to do is find Okay, that looks just about right. I'll just visually check it, but I know I measured it. But, you know, measure twice, cut once type of thing. Okay. That should be good enough to start my number seven drill. on there. Drill down. Use a pulley tap here. Way down to about eighty five. Okay, we are not going to risk breaking this tap, but that started it good enough so we can do it later. Ok, 
Okay. I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. We'll rinse and repeat. Okay, now you can kind of see how this is going to work. Um, I finished drilling it off camera and I got a couple dies in here just to see how things fit. Basically, yeah. might have some burrs in this thing. Is that one? So two inch dies go on this side obviously and the one and a half inch dies go over here and I got to uh, screw with these uh, set screws a little bit make um, make some dog point ones but yeah I gotta, I gotta polish up the insides here But this piece is pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is uh, have a ratty old piece of cold rolled here. I'm going to make some handles for this, and uh, we'll do we'll be doing some knurling and some threading on them. So get the lathe cleaned up here uh, for round two.